So now we'll cut to something where you uh, try the remarkable for the first time. See oh what yeah, you think. I want to draw on that one and see yeah. if I notice a difference or Let's, not. Let's uh, give it a shot. My favorite is the fine liner. That's this guy, yeah. right? Yeah, which they don't have on the Kindle. I care. Oh, actually, also, I like a lot. I like writing a lot more without the folio. Oh, feels okay. more like papery. Yeah. See, because this matters to me also, right? Like when we're talking about like pen people. Yeah. That feels like a little more like a marker than a pen. Yep. But it's still the pen. Yeah. So I'm not really obsessed with that. Okay, this is wicked thin, which I think makes handwriting look. The fine liner thin is super thin. Is that for like little like dates or something? You oh know, my god, I'm... it's so shaky. Yeah. Ah. Okay, try. I'm gonna try the olive oil. Okay, that also starts to just feel like a marker for me. Yeah. Okay, that is okay. It's still, yeah, that's like, I like having that for tiny, for tiny little things, but that's definitely what that's for because mm -hmm. that feels kind of crazy. The, would you say the, the feel is pretty similar, right, of the pen to the scribe? I think there's, I might have to go back to back, but I think there's a little less drag on this. Less drag? I think there's a little less drag on this. Although, I find the mm -hmm. shading, so like if you're using like the pencil tool in both of them, mm -hmm. I find it to be pretty similar in both. Yeah, I like these um like images they did with like sketches built into them. Oh, you know what? That's probably one of my only other thing, my only other like complaints. I want to be able to control what that background image is. Right. I feel you. That bothers me a little. Yeah, I feel you. I don't kind particularly of... like the one with the rocket coming out of the coffee cup. Yeah. And it loves that one. Yep. So yeah, remember the old, the old Kindles we were talking about with ads? Mm -hmm. Those would actually, when they turned yeah. off, they would the, have an ad that would stick onto the. And they thing would again. always, for me, they would always not. And I like don't read romance novels, and they were always romance novels, which was hilarious. Yeah. Hi, buddy. So kind of like uh, you know here when you tap this, it goes away. Yeah. You can do the same with uh, this. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, I like the little, like, bubbly. Also, I think it Kindle should have something like that. Mm. Where you I just hit so X and just gets out of there, you know? I agree. The, the uh, navigation is, like, weird. Yeah. Okay. But the, um, the pressure sensitivity is pretty good on this, too. Like, this for shading. I, okay, let me switch back to this for a second. Did you try the calligraphy pen? Yeah, that's what I was just doing in that one. I would one. do thicker. You get more gradation between the, um... Oh, yeah, that's the good one. Ooh. Try the really thick one, too. That's more like calligraphy style. This one is like is definitely significantly more sensitive. I think that the like in the so she I mean, does even movement like that. This kind of snaps it to being more perfect. Um, my tip might need to be replaced soon too. Oh yeah, you definitely do. Yeah, you're drawing on that. One thing I found that you can do if you want to like shape the tip a little is you can just like I'm rotating it, mm -hmm. so I'm actually reshaping the tip a little bit. Mm -hmm. Kind I mean, of which like, is pretty cool because it's like a real kind pencil. Of, kind of like a real pencil where if it was like completely dull, you could kind of do that a little That's bit and like cool. sharpen it a little bit. Um, so maybe it's a little bit better now, but it's not. So what did you were on pencil on here? Yeah, yeah this is pencil. Okay. Um, I was just showing like the shading is pretty mm -hmm. good, like where I can do it really light and then like 
dark in it, you know? You know, I don't even, I wasn't, I've never even played with the pressure like that. Yeah, so these, these have like, I think they're like 4,000 something levels of pressure sensitivity, so they're pretty good. It's the same as my um, my phone, wherever, oh, right here. Um, this Wacom stylus has the same. Uh, but okay, swap with me for a try, second. Try this pen on that. I want to see actually, the shading's probably worse. Yeah, see, this I can't do that fine. Oh, no, I can do it a little bit. I can do it a little bit. Oh, wait, let me go back to Actually, it's really not bad. That's pretty good for the non-native pen. Look, that level of shading, yeah. like gradient. I am not good at this. I'm not good at that. Try putting it more on its side if you want to do like light shading and going like that. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. See where like, I'm like very slowly increasing the pressure. Ooh, okay. The racing on this is funny with that wrong pen. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So did you did you see the eraser feel no. on this? Try the eraser feel on that. I think it's a little better. Oh my god. Way better. Yeah. Okay. They way. Because feel feel the end of it, <gasps> like the texture. Oh, see this. This is, is nice. like a hard plastic. No, this. That is has nice. like an actual eraser feel. See, they did the texture thing with this. That I would I like erasing with this. You get yeah. a satisfaction of like erasing. That yeah. is shitty. Yeah. But, um, go like a race here. Oh my God, I'm not very good at shading, huh? Like a uh, a race through there, and you'll see what I was talking about. What? Like and then the... it snaps. You see, it ah. snaps. Like this one does more of the full erase yep. immediately, and then it resnaps the lines back. Whereas that one will like, it almost like grayscale it first, yeah. and then it snaps to like delete it. You see right there, yeah, there's yeah, still yeah. like You're traces, not, like, and now it's gone. It's funny that they do the back shadow too. Yeah. That they leave something and then it eventually goes away. Oh, these yeah, that's just ghosting actually. Yeah. It goes. So that's like uh, it because basically what you're doing is so if you want to like learn more of the technology when I'm applying pressure here, it's basically using a charge, like a, a positive charge and a negative charge, and the charge brings like these little ink e ink things to the surface. Um, so it's like an etch a sketch. Yeah. Essentially, it's a it's like a smart etch a sketch, but it can do it very precisely, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I saw with this, like when I was using the wrong. If I pen, go down there, like a much finer control with the the pr like you can't do that on an etch a sketch, yeah. right? Yeah, like see, look, like even this, like the little teeny tiny little bits of dots that you get, and then it gets more and more and more and more and more and more, right? Like the yeah, like the first layer of like baby dots that you get when you start to do. Yeah, exactly. So basically what it's doing is like it's bringing the charge, it's creating a charge where you're pressing and then it's bringing a positive charge to the top. And then once you release it, it's not doing anything. That's why it uses no power. Weird. That's why they last like much longer. Damn, they figured out how but, to make these. but that's why they have slow refresh rates because when you're refreshing, it's literally like moving physical things. Particles, particles, up, particles and down. up and down. And Whoa. so that ghosting is like it released those, but then it only fully does a refresh every like five cycles and then or something. Totally gets rid and of them. Totally so they're gets just rid of them. that's where they sit on. They're sitting on the bottom. Yeah. So like if you were to exit this, and then go back in, or sorry, that wasn't yours, was it? Yours was this one. You Wait, see now, now they're, they're, gone. they're gone. Yeah. Whoa. Speaking of etch sketches, though. So this is a Japanese company. Um, it's called Kaite. Kaite. But this is doing the same thing as these mm. e-ink things are doing. Um, but this is a little magnetic tip. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's basically little iron filaments in there. So this is actually even more like a etch a sketch. Etch -a -sketch. Um, and then so like this yeah. this little thing is uh, the eraser. Um, or you can have the big eraser here. So if I want to, and watch when I erase, you see how it's kind of gray. Graying, yeah. But then watch once I stop, it'll slowly just fade back to its color over time because they're literally like falling back down. That's cool. Um, and so this I keep at my desk because I just like it as a little jot pad. But I obviously it's not functional for like 
taking big yeah, notes or anything, like, right? You like, can't move anything over anyway. Yeah, exactly. Cool. But it is cool. It is fun to sketch on. Like you can re-highlight things really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, it's like this is your Banksy art. <laughs> and then it, 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 you'll see it'll fade in a second, right? So it'll fade back down. Uh, it, so it this, continues to fall into the background. No, not like a hundred percent, but just a little bit. Like it'll it'll still remain there. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, watch if I see how that's a little darker than those. Mm -hmm. These will continue to fade a little bit, and then after like two minutes, maybe they stop fading. Cool. Um, but it's cool because sometimes if you have like a list or something, or if you have a drawing or a sketch, you can like re-highlight parts and yeah, then kind of like, like redo it. Over. You can redo I do it, like yeah. doing that. Like when I'm writing. And then the, this is so Japanese. Look at this thing. It pops oh out, God. and then it's a little like mini eraser. <laughs> They're crazy. I love that though. It's like so cool. Yeah. So I'm actually, I'm actually doing a video on this guy and um, because I've been doing a lot of like e-ink stuff, Amazon recommended this product to me. And this one I actually really like. It's cool. It has some downsides, but I actually don't think they're like completely. You can try this too if you want. Yeah, I do. They make different pens for that too, but I just used the one that came with it. And so the cool thing about this one is like, right, you like know, you, you mess something up, you can quickly erase it. Mm -hmm. This one you can't. Um, oh, like my, my mom and sister were playing a, a card game and they like denoted the score on here. Oh, I had this in, in a bigger version. Of yeah. some, it looked just like this. I don't know if it was this, but it, I got it. It had the button erased? And it had the button. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So yeah, this one, it, it's, this one's crazy because this thing's $12. Look, it has minor pressure sensitivity. Look, Whoa, like it does, I can it actually does. do pressure gradients. Um, so what I like about that one is the experience that it that feels more like those um, or looks more like you remember the wooden pen that you could draw on the black paper and it revealed the color underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where you like scratch yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I liked about that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does feel like that. And I think this is actually just pressure sensitive because there is, this one does have a little button cell battery in here, but all the button cell battery is used for is to clear Put the screen. So, yeah, so it had the button clear and it was the bigger version of that. And I got it so, it was like a... Did it have two sides? It was, no, it didn't have two sides. It only had one side. But it was like a... My, when my ex-boyfriend and I were living together, it was like a leave each other notes because he was gone in the morning before I was up. So it was sense. like dog didn't eat or like whatever. Something yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. And then you weren't using any like... Uh, Paper, paper. Or wasting paper, yeah. Yeah, I think this is great for like, like if you're like a server at a restaurant. Um, and then this has a cool feature, right? So if I were to tap the button, it would delete everything. So the downside is you can't like, if you mess something up, right, you, you can't, can't fix it. Mm -hmm. But like with pen and paper, you can't either, mm -hmm. right? So it's the same. Um, but there is a little lock function here. So I think it, it had that too, yeah. If I were to press the back button now, it won't Nothing clear happens, it. yeah. So like... I think a great application for this is like for like if you're like a server at a restaurant, mm -hmm. you just take your quick notes and then you go enter them into a system. And instead of like using a million tickets like per week, right? Like you're just using this. And then, but if you don't want to forget someone's order, you just lock it. So that's cool. Yeah. So these, would... these are two like, I'm doing a video like two e ink alternatives. Mm -hmm. um, for if you just want something even more. If you just simple. want something basic. Or also, like these are like expensive, right? They're not. So oh, they're I not cheap. Like five hundred dollars on yeah. that thing. Yeah, like when you buy all the accessories, the uh, the better pen, the uh, everything. You know. I like what this feels like too. Yeah, it's got good feel. Mm -hmm. It does have pressure sensitivity, like to an extent. I actually notice you can like kind of write with your nail. Yeah, the other one you can write with your fingernail. Yeah. yeah. So it is some form of pressure sensitivity on the uh, screen. Yeah. But this doesn't really have pressure sensitivity. Yeah, that doesn't care about me. It wants it's to magnetic. Yeah. yeah. Right, but you can't erase on this. No. You, no. I'm like drawing more you're, with you're the other erase side. Drawing, yeah. I'm erase drawing. <laughs> I'm going like I'm doing this. Yeah. Anyways. Um, cool. That's pretty much it. What do, you, what do you think of the Remarkable? Like pretty similar, right? To very, this guy? Like, very similar. I, you know, the one thing that do I you, noticed. Do you feel like you even noticed the difference of like it not being completely on the screen? Like no. the pen? No, it's not noticeable, right? The eraser is so much better on this. The mm -hmm. texture of this pen is so much better. But I actually think that the pen, the differences, the subtle differences in the pen controls yeah. on this are better than on this. For me, 
When you say subtle, like control um, things, do you mean like the gradients or like I the mean thickness or like it's felt for me like when I was doing the ballpoint pen on anything other than thin. And then if I was doing, it was like the same thing with the marker and it was the same thing with the pencil. Oh, it you, started were to all you were just talking feel about like the, the marker. You were talking about the jitteriness, right? The jitteriness, yeah. but also it all just started to look and feel like the marker. The marker, yeah. Like yeah. that and that don't, didn't feel yeah. or look any different for me and they were totally different. I pencils. agree with you. Like if you do, if you do the marker on thin versus like the ballpoint or the fine liner on thick, mm -hmm. it like feels like the it same thing. It kind of feels like the yeah. same thing. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Yeah. That I don't have that experience with. They all feel like very when I was showing you that like different. affirmation thing I was yeah. doing. They're very unique very and different. Unique and different. Yeah. yeah. So that's a little bit of a downside on that one for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. But I, this eraser is fire. So this eraser is really good. One thing, um, I don't, I don't think the scribe has this, but I think they should add it is layers. So, um, if I add a new layer, this is, these are both Ooh. visible. See, they want, this is so much better for drawing. So, um, let's go to, uh, oops, sorry. You can, you can also just type stuff in the, mm -hmm. the, the note here, but if I go to like the highlighter, um, and then I start like highlighting this, right. And then turn that layer off. And then if I, yeah, it's just like, kind of like, like your standard layer. Yeah. Well, I obviously did it somewhere right where it covers it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but like if I do this. Right, and then, boom, turn it off. Cool, it's gone. that's nice. And you can have up to five layers. Yeah, that's and a nice feature. And you can feature. shift them up so around and I stuff. So I can see that being really useful for that in it's like good a multi-house situation. It's good for sketching. The only problem is this thing's three or four years old now. So I've done five layers before, and it gets so slow. It's like oh, there's it's a little loading dot in the center where it's like every time I open it, it takes like 10 seconds, and then every time I try to turn a layer off or on it's just so like because the, slow. what came into my head when i saw you using that is that if i have more than one person reading the same book yeah taking notes in it or highlighting in it it'd be nice that like all my highlights were there and they didn't have to get deleted if i then said like hey here blood you can read this book now yeah. put a new layer on or turn that layer off and then you can right, look at right, all of your right, own right. notes that would be yeah. kind of nice but if it slows it down a bunch then it's just like too slow yeah do you know the, the box jumps over the lazy dog? Do you know why that's It has the every uh, letter of the alphabet in it, right? No, so many people don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think I learned that in like middle school. I was like, I should have known this in elementary school. So many people don't know that. Yeah. I think it's hilarious.